Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video I wanted to take a look at the role of Ferengi women. This will be part one of a two-part series. So let's go ahead and get started. Ferengi society and culture was highly misogynistic and patriarchal. As such, laws and cultural norms reflected and deeply institutionalized such misogyny and discrimination. Ferengi women were barred from most aspects of society such as not being allowed to earn profit or travel. They were not even allowed to wear clothes and were expected to be undressed at all times. Thinking about things, as Quark once put it, was neither something expected nor desired of their females. Neither was having opinions or political views. They further were not allowed to have any claim to the estate of their husband should the marriage end, and as all females were generally required to sign a waiver of property and profit, giving up any such claim. If a woman was caught earning profit, she was forced to give back all that she had earned and either sign a confession admitting the error of her ways or be sold to indentured servitude if she refused. Her male relatives would then have to make restitution. Marriage, like everything else in Ferengi culture, was a business contract signed between the prospective groom and the bride's father, in which the father leased his daughter to the groom for a set period, usually five years, for an agreed fee paid on birth of a son. Pregnancies were considered rentals under Ferengi law, with the father being the lessee. As described by Quark, in a marriage on the Ferengi homeworld, husbands and wives never argue. There's no divorce, no broken homes, nothing but peaceful, conjugal bliss. In addition to being forbidden to earn profit and own property, Ferengi females were not allowed to wear clothes, leaving their homes without their male escort or speak to males who they were not related to. Their role as caregiver to the male children of the family was strictly defined. Mothers were expected to teach their children the rules of acquisition and to soften their male children's food by chewing it for them. Because of this, Ferengi males were often very protective and loving of their mothers, and this was even reflected in the rules of acquisition. Rule 31 was, never make fun of a Ferengi's mother. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is part one of our two-part series discussing the role of Ferengi women. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.